So I wanted to show uh, something I've been playing with with the throttle curve and also saving data um, or saving tunes with the Castle Link software. Um, so here we've got the Castle Link software. I haven't actually got my car connected to it, um, but we can use the demo mode. So I use the one by one's the X original, the success version, demo mode, and um, what I've got is a few sort of um, tunes saved. So at the moment, this will be set with all the standard low start power, punch disabled, all this kind of stuff, um, motor. So what I want to do is I want to pretty much flash my, my standard tune. So if I go to my save and print tab, I can load settings from files and I've got a couple of tunes already in here. So I've got my number one tune, no curve, uh, 45 degree timing starting at 6400 um, 6, RPM and on the cheap. So if I load that, Now if we go to my power, start power, punch has all, has all changed. Uh, I go to my motor, my cheat's engaged, um, 64, 100 start, and my throttle curve is, is just a linear curve. So now I can flash that to a, scene, a, a new um, ESC. So the other thing I can do is um, if I want to go and change to a loop, different curve so this is the last curve that I was I was testing with uh, save that um, now we will go to my throttle curve and so this is what I was using to try and get more power more initial power off the hip so if I look at my data log I've got a really low throttle input so the um, this is the this point function uh, under speed on the M17, and it's only giving it's giving me now 40 percent power out. So you can see down here where it says power out under my mouse. So where I hover my mouse, just as the initial hit from the radio comes in, it's giving me 39 percent power out. So I'm able to put in more power off the line because of my ramp in the ESC. So I've got that ramp in the ESC. So if I want to change a little bit something else in here, I can also save and load curves. So I can leave all my mo motor settings alone. I can go to my throttle curve and I can load a different curve. So I've seen a couple of guys play with this. I haven't touched anything in the ESC myself. Um, but I call this a pause curve. So you have your initial ramp, your initial launch power, and then you have this little pause in the, in the curve that allows the suspension to basically get up, settle, and then it'll ramp back up and then continue on. Um, so from here, I can save, you know, all my, all my motor stuff is the same, um, but my throttle curve has changed. Uh, and then if I want, I can then load a more aggressive pause curve. So now I've got 30% power off the hit. So these grids are, you know, 10%, 20%, 30% power off the hit, and then it goes to 40% and then it ramps up. Um, the throttle input, uh, this is still controlled by the radio. So however long you have your throttle speed set on the radio, is how long this will pass through this curve. Um, so if I use a, a one second delay or throttle ramp, uh, this will be a tenth of a second, twentieth of a second. So, so basically, twentieth of a second into the run, I would have hit thirty percent, twenty percent power, paused at thirty percent, and starting from you know two hundred in the run, it'll start ramping in the power. So it gives that first two hundred a launch and settle and then ramp. Um, so now I can save or I can load the pause curve too with cheat starting at 65. So if I save that, my motor will have cheat starting at 65,000 RPM and then a 50. 
and then I'll have my second pause curve in there. So pretty much when I when I do all my testing, I keep a log. So here's a, an Excel spreadsheet of all the all the runs that I've done, um, and I can start adding in notes into here to say it was you know curve one, you know, 6,400 60, start on the cheat, uh, I list my gearing, uh, and then what I actually do is, um, here's on my EEC settings, I have two GNSs running, so this GNS records on my, sorry, that's my radio settings, beg your pardon, my um, forward speed, my point and my curve rate. This is my 66 foot GNS and this is my 132 foot GNS. So you can see pretty much my last two test sessions I haven't, I haven't even ran 132 because it's, it's no point. Um, back here I was running, I was able to get some 2.0s and I was only in the, the 1.4s, 1.5s in the 66 foot. So my goal is to improve this, so all I'm doing is, is focusing on that. Um, so that's, now I can, when I record all this data, I can also put down what curve I was running, and I can go back to my, my tune here, and if I go back to my um, pause curve, 265, uh, my throttle curve, and I can change the, the pause, I can make the pause longer, and I can save that curve. Number three, so now I have a new curve in there. And then if I find that this curve likes the timing starting a little bit earlier, I can then go save my, my motor information, my curve information, and I can save all of this data to, let's say, so pause, pause 4, pause 3, and 6400 start. So now I have that tune set up here. So as I play around and manipulate all different things, I always have a reference I can go back to. So when I go to my sheet, if I list the, the tune that I'm running, the curve and, and, the, and the tune, I record the data, my, my GNS times, and if it if it's, works out good, if it's giving me good 66, giving me good 132, giving me good mile an hour, then that's some, that's some data I want to return to. So by using the save function, I can save curves and I can save um, full tunes. Uh, and I think the other curve, I think I've shown it, which was the, the, the actual curve, not a non-linear curve. So I hope uh, some of this information helps you guys and, and you can use it to, to record and save your data.